Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of testicular torsion. A young male patient came with acute severe left hemiscrotal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the right testis showing normal in size, shape and position with uniform parenchymal ecotexture. The visualized part of epididymis also looks normal. When we put the color Doppler, you can see in low PRF setting, the normal testis shows good amount of blood flow. We'll compare this blood flow with other testis to exclude testicular torsion. Here you can see the left testis of this patient showing a relatively hypoechoic texture with surrounding scrotal skin thickening and some peritesticular collection. The visualized epididymis also appears broad and heterogeneous. Now is it epidermal ochitis or testicular torsion? To make it confirm, we will use the color Doppler ultrasound. In color Doppler, you can see there is a good amount of blood flow within the hemiscrotal skin, but you can't see any flow within the testicular parenchyma, indicating testicular torsion. Here is the area of epididymis and you can see a good amount of blood flow here. The good amount of flow within the thickened hemiscrotal skin indicates adjacent inflammatory changes. Now here you can see superior to the left testis, a lamellated mass with concentric layering is noted. This is actually the coiled spermatic cord components forming the whirlpool sign. It means this is the site for torsion. On color doppler you can see twisting or whirling of the blood vessel forming the whirlpool sign here. So here is the picture showing the comparison between the vascularity in same PRF and color gain setting and you can see a good amount of intertesticular flow on the right testis with normal scrotal skin and uh, on the left testis you can't see any blood flow within the testicular parenchyma. You can see the skin thickening and peritesticular reactionary hydrocele. The measurement of testis was quite normal though if you compare with the right one it may be slightly increased which is still within the normal limit. And here is the whirlpool sign. You can see a lamellated mass with concentric layering, which was found just above the left testis, representing the coiled spermatic cord where the torsion occurred. So, in summary, a normal sized left testis with homogeneously hypoechoic parenchymal ecotexture and no detectable intertesticular flow on color Doppler is seen. A lamellated mass was noted with concentric layering just cephalate to the left testis representing the coiled spermatic cord components forming the whirlpool sign with twisting or whirling on color Doppler. Left sided reactive hydrocele was noted. Left hemiscrotal skin shows thickening with increased flow on Doppler indicating reactionary inflammatory change. The right testis and epididymis appeared normal. Now the take home message. In case of incomplete testicular torsion, color Doppler may show vascularity within the testis. An increase in arterial resistive index of more than 0.75 and absence of intratesticular venous flow may help confirm testicular torsion in these cases. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.